Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about uh, how to use uh, gradients in uh, Figma. So let's uh, get started and uh, we're going to open up this uh, document right here and uh, as a very first thing uh, we're simply going to create uh, a rectangle here on the right and uh, as you can see the moment that we create a rectangle we're going to see this uh, fill section on uh, the right panel and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, linear. So as you can see, the moment we do that, uh, we're going to have uh, the gradient options and uh, we can either select uh, uh, any, col any color from the document colors or simply go ahead and uh, basically select uh, whatever color you prefer. You can also change the opacity as you can see right here. And uh, this is going to be a very straightforward way to create uh, most of your gradients. Now, a lot of the times, uh, if uh, you create uh, website designs, uh, you're going to see that um, a lot of the trends uh, are going to have uh, these gradients, which uh, are for the very most part uh, diagonal, or <clears throat> maybe they're following a specific uh, uh, line and direction. So that you can uh, easily do with single uh, dragging and uh, moving these uh, dots around uh, in the shape so very easy to do and uh, very straightforward as well now there's also other type of gradients which you can use uh, in Figma such as the radial gradient which uh, you probably aren't going to use that much but in some specific instances this is going to come in super handy especially if you need to create uh, maybe circles uh, and uh, you can use the linear uh, and uh, actually the radial gradient also in more creative ways uh, such as uh, adding the same color and then removing the opacity altogether and as you can see you can create uh, these ovals with uh, different uh, gradients going uh, uh, on the sides so you are not limited to specific objects uh, when it comes uh, to creating these gradients. And uh, you're also not limited to actual shapes. So if, for example, I have uh, some text uh, over here, and I'm going to increase the font size just a bit so that it's visible. You can see that uh, the same uh, applies also for text. Uh, so you can easily update uh, and use these uh, gradients uh, in uh, pretty much uh, any vector shape uh, on Figma. Now another type of gradient uh, which uh, is going to be even less used but it's going to be really useful in uh, some instances if especially if you're creating some uh, illustrations or things of that nature is going to be the angular gradient. So this is going to be pretty straightforward. The very left uh, uh, element uh, or color on, on the side uh, is going to be this first one going here and then uh, all the way to the right uh, which is going to follow this uh, exact uh, uh, ellipse and pattern and uh, also one last type of gradient is going to be the diamond gradient which as you can see it's going to create this effect uh, which is very similar to what you would expect from a diamond. So that's uh, pretty much it when it comes to gradients in Figma. So as you can see, very easy to do and uh, to use uh, for your own design projects. And uh, if you're interested in learning more about Figma, feel free to check out my channel. I have over 100 videos on uh, uh, Figma tutorials and uh, also UI UX and web design tutorials. So feel free to check it out. I'll see you in the very next one.